Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will solve another Python entry question that is finding the missing numbers in the given list of 1 to 10. That means we will be given a list with the 1 to 10 numbers. There might be some numbers will be missing and we need to identify those missing numbers. So you can take a look at this example here. So I have an input which is 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 9. So if you careful notice here, 4 is missing, 6 is missing, 7 is missing and 10 is missing, right? So we need to print that out as a output. So how can we solve this problem? See, for solving this problem, uh, the first method that I can do is the method 1, okay? Which is a uh, simplest one. So for that, uh, first, uh, let's write a for loop, okay? For, I will say, for i in range, okay? So I will start from 1 to 11. That means I want numbers from 1 to 10. So that's why I am giving range as 1 to 11 here. Now what I will do is I will check this i. Okay, I will check this each number is there in the input list or not. If it is there means that is there. If it is missing means that number is missing from this range, right? 1 to 10. So for that reason, I will have a condition here. If not, okay, if not i in the input list okay which is input list if not there means then we have to print that number okay so let me define this input list so this is the list that we want right see here now let's run this program see here we got the output right four six seven ten okay so in case if you want to see the output in a single line we can do comma and is equal to comma here okay now let's rerun this one see we got all the values that are missing this is pretty cool right and in case i mean if you don't want this print statement and if you want to keep it in the uh, method or a function so what we can do is we can define a function like this uh, def okay like uh, get missing i'm just giving a function name and to this one we need to give the input list here right and now move everything this is cool and in case if you don't want to print it and if you want to return this uh, missing elements as a uh, list then what we can do is uh, we can have a output list variable here and i will use this here to append the values and finally after this for loop we'll just uh, read this one this is cool right now if you call this one of uh, input list mm, get missing is not identified okay i have to run this cell first i did not do that now uh, let's yeah rerun this one see we got the same output as a list here so this is the first method and the simplest method uh, for solving this problem uh, guys so let's take another example here we have like 1 to 10 that's fine okay so since it is like 1 to 10 we are able to uh, do it using a for loop let's say uh, when you have 1 to 100 or 1 to 1000 or million so that time running through a for loop and checking will be like uh, too expensive here right it takes a lot of time here then how can we do it so there is another method using set so if we use set efficiently we can solve this code in just uh, two lines of uh, code okay let's do it so i will define a method same like uh, get missing uh, I will just name it as get missing numbers and to this one as usual I will take input list okay now what I will do is I will simply uh, return directly set of okay set of range okay so in this case okay wh whatever the range that we want like some for example let's say we want 1 to uh, 10 right so I will just give 1 to 10 and now after this one I will just say minus set of input list okay now if you run this one let me call this 
with the input list now execute this one see we got the same output as usual right pretty cool right so if you might be thinking how it is working so basically you might have uh, studied in our mathematics uh, classes so this is a basically a set and from the set we are just comparing uh, whether all the elements okay in the second uh, set are there or not okay so if there are any missing actually those will values will be uh, printed out here so that's how it is working and if you careful notice it is printing another uh, set here and in case if you want the output in the list format we can just uh, wrap this inside the list that's pretty much uh, we need to do let's run this one again and this one as well see here yeah that's all for this video guys and i hope you liked it and please stay tuned and i will meet you in the next one